He didn't plan anything for Valentine's Day. I'm just tired of feeling like the only one who cares. I asked him, two to three weeks ago, to plan something for Valentine's Day. I asked him almost every day if he had planned anything. I had gotten a babysitter for my son then, and was just going to update on time. That's all. And he never gave me an update because he didn't plan anything. We were going to celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow evening. I asked if he updated what time he planned something so I could update the babysitter. He said he didn't plan anything. I'm heartbroken. We've been together for four years and I feel like he cared the first few until we started living together. Now I'm just a chore. He didn't plan anything for my birthday or anniversary. I attributed that to me not telling him him I wanted that. I told him for this time, several days even weeks in advance. And still nothing. He says it's because money is tight but I would have been okay with him just saying he planned to do a nature hike at X time. It didn't have to cost money. I just wanted to be thought of. I feel so sad. ETA, to those asking why I didn't just plan it this year. For the past two years I've planned everything, like every aspect of it. Before that he would for things like a birthday or valentines, and I would help or surprise him on things like birthday or could plan anniversary and vacations. Usually it was a joint effort. The past two years though he's really stopped trying to plan or surprise me on anything. I attributed it to living together now, and not really telling him I cared about surprises like that. So that's why for Valentine's Day this year, I told him weeks in advance that I really wanted him to do something special and plan it because I wanted to feel thought of, and that I was sad he didn't plan anything for my birthday. I was hoping that would at least have him know that it mattered to me and I wanted to feel special this day. I don't mind helping plan things usually, I just was doing 100% of the effort towards planning everything the past few years. I just wanted one day to not have to do that. I used to do things for my wife on VD. Then, one year, two days before VD we lost an important person in our lives which resulted in us not even realizing that the day was upon us for years. This time of year would leave us sad. This year I done some soul searching and realized that this was over 15 years ago. So I kinda went nuts. Tomorrow she will wake up to some impeccably wrapped gifts from me with her morning coffee. I know there won't be anything for me and I'm cool with that. Her smile is more than enough. It isn't about it being Valentine's. If he says he will do something that he knows is important to you, he should do it. He's showing you how important your feelings and needs are to him, so what will you do about it? Still book the babysitter and do something for yourself that makes you happy, it's time to show yourself some self-love. And not everything is about him. This person put no effort into you and what you made very clear was important. Walk away. It doesn't get better. The amount of comments saying Valentine's isn't important to invalidate Op's feelings. It may not be important to you but it's important to her, and he knows, and that's all that matters. It's quite clear that these people haven't been in a relationship before if they don't have an ounce of understanding to bat sometimes, you should do things for your so if it makes them happy. I don't celebrate Lunar New Year. My boyfriend traditionally does. I made the effort to make food, when I can't even cook and visit his mom for the occasion. Learned Vietnamese to be able to communicate somewhat with his relatives in Vietnam. I don't need to do it. Lunar New Year isn't important to me. But I know family and tradition is important to him so I did it, and seeing him happy was all that mattered. Hey op, your feelings are valid. I understand that you planned so many holidays and it's clear this is similar to your type of love language. Hopefully, you can talk to him about it and tell him why it's so important to you smile. I, M16, took a bath with my baby sister, 3, and my aunt made me feel like a pervert because of it. Is she right? Edit, if anyone's interested, update in comments. Thank you all for the advices. Forgive me for any mistake, English is not my first language and I'm kind of freaking out right now. I'm really afraid of talking about it to my parents. I feel like a pervert and I don't want to hurt my sister. I am 16. I live with my father, 
47, his partner, E, 47, my step-siblings, E's children, a boy and a girl, twins, 12, and our newly adopted baby sister, let's call her Rose. E and my dad have been best friends for years, they lost contact after college but when E's wife died in childbirth, my dad offered him to move in with us, we had slash have a big house, so he wouldn't be alone after such a tragedy and my dad helped him with the babies. He raised us together, realized that they were in love when I was eight and now they're married. When I say parents, I mean my dad and E. My mom's alive but she's more like a cool aunt to me, everything's fine, but I know that we have a weird dynamic so please feel free to ask if you have any questions. My parents adopted a little girl a year ago, Rose. She's three. Rose has been sick for a few days and I can tell that my parents are exhausted. She doesn't sleep, she doesn't eat, she's cranky, etc. She threw up at dinner last night. He wasn't there, still working. So I told my dad I would bathe her, and he could clean up the mess. I was also covered in it so I decided to take a bathe with her. I thought it was okay because I remember bathing with the twins slash my parents when we were little, and Rose trusts me. Which is a big thing, because she's very wary of people. The next day, my aunt called and asked about Rose. I told her how she finally fell asleep in the bathtub, which led me to admit that we took a bath together, my aunt was asking a lot of questions. She was discussing and while she did not directly call me a pedo, she certainly made me feel like one. She said that it wasn't normal, that because Rose is adopted, we need to have special boundaries, that kind of things. My question is, is she right? I love Rose and I would never hurt her, but my aunt's words make me think that perhaps I already did. Is this normal for me to take a bath with my sister? Is there something wrong with me? I'm a 35 year old father of a 4 year old little girl. She likes to play in the tub, I've taken baths with her but always with swim shorts on. It's also cultural bro, wherever you are what is taboo and what is not. However, nudity is only sexual if one makes it that way. So no, you aren't a pervert. Just a minor oversight, easily rectified next time. You didn't do anything wrong but I think the next time you take a bath with her maybe throw on some swim trunks. When I was three quarters I used to take baths with my grandpa but he always had bottoms on. If your father had an issue with you bathing with Rose he would have let you know. It isn't up to your aunt to make those decisions. Your father trusts you with her, your sister, regardless of adoption or not. I would talk to your father about how she made you feel and your father should put her, your aunt, in her place. I hate when people make assumptions. You didn't do anything wrong at all. You took a bath with your three-year-old sister to relieve your dad and his partner. That's not just fine, that's fantastic initiative which your parents undoubtedly appreciate. Tell your dad and his partner about the conversation with your aunt, ask them what they think and if you should take any further precautions in the future. But don't do anything further and don't second guess yourself. Seriously, don't second guess yourself. You're very obviously not a pedophile if you didn't have ulterior motives or were turned on by the fact you simply gave your three-year-old sister a bath to relieve your parents and joined her because you were covered in her sick. That's a perfectly normal, time-saving activity considering her age. Edit, heteronormative assumptions as rightfully pointed out by you slash laugh to say intolerant. Hello everyone. I was very surprised to see so many comments and I wish I could answer them all. I just wanted to say thank you for the advices. A little update, I talked to my parents. They don't care and they don't think I'm a pedo. They said the same thing that a lot of people wrote here, i.e. to put on my swimming trunks if it happens again. Not because they think I'm going to hurt Rose but in order to ease my mind. We will also talk about it to our therapist. We do solo and family sessions once a month to make sure the adoption is going smoothly, so he can help me recognize what are healthy boundaries slash reassure me if needed. But my parents told me not to worry too much about it, it was a one-time thing, she usually bathes on her own while supervised, and it was practical because we both smelled bad and she was sick slash sleepy. My dad is mostly angry at his sister, my aunt, not because she was worried, some of you pointed out that she has legitimate concerns, 
but because of her accusations. He said she should have explained me why it can be an issue slash talked to him instead of instantly implying I was attracted to my little sister. He also said that if she's really convinced that I am a threat, she didn't even warn him, Rose's father, so he could take appropriate measures. They also talked on the phone the previous day. So her intervention was useless, apart from making me feel bad. Their relationship is already very tense, though I don't know why, so I feel a little guilty about that, but I'm mostly relieved. And as Rose is finally doing better, I would say everything's fine. My boyfriend broke up with me because he came out as gay. Now he's dating a new girl. Two months ago, my boyfriend, 24 meters, broke up with me, 23 f, and said it was because he was gay and he couldn't lie to me anymore. He said that he had known since he was young but didn't come to terms with it until recently. We dated for 8 months and he gave me no indication that he was gay. I obviously was sad because I really loved him but I wanted to support him and his discussion to come out. However, after breaking up with me, he blocked my number and he blocked me on Instagram. Yesterday, I was stalking him from my fake Insta account and saw that a girl tagged him in a post. It was a picture of her showing off a bracelet and the caption was something like Valentine's Day came early this year. X's name, bought me this bow today I fucked up a bracelet. I love him so much. I clicked his tag to make sure it was actually him and it was. I followed her account and she's been posting stories all day with him and they even kissed in one so I'm almost 100% that he's not gay. I'm devastated. Did he lie to me about being gay? If so why? Why wouldn't he just break up with me normally? This is making me feel so awful and confused. Should I confront him about it? He's your ex. His issues are not your issues anymore. Ignore him and unfollow the GF. Just move on. You don't have a liar boyfriend now. At least he didn't tell you he was moving to Yemen. What is the point? On one hand, he is gay and hiding it. On the other hand, he lied about being gay to not be with you. Either scenario makes him not right to be in a relationship with you. Move on.